for me, it's very important of what people think of all the people in the 80s or 70s. To see that we could be strong and we don't have to depend on anyone. That's why I work out so hard. I was born in 1939, just about the same time when the Second World War was starting. Theodore Roosevelt was president. I am Jacinto Bonilla, I'm 79 years old, and I love CrossFit. What I love about CrossFit, you never fall into a routine. If I'm here, I would never know what's on for tomorrow. CrossFit is always constantly changing. All right, guys, two minutes to rest. On box jumps. I've been always looking for something different to do to keep myself going. I was walking down Central Park one time and I saw these, these young guys doing exercise one after the other. And I told him, you mix your exercises together and you guys don't rest. Oh, we call this CrossFit. So I said, wow, I've been looking for something like this. Can I join in? <laughs> and they looked at me and they told me, okay, can you pull up? I said, of course I could do pull ups. Around the beginning of 2007, I started uh, getting up, you know, uh, like almost a lot of times during the night to, you know, to go to the bathroom. I went to the doctor and the urologist. He diagnosed me with, with prostate cancers. Obviously, I had to stop because I had to recover. I just had to wait to heal so I could get back into exercising. I just like being strong and able to move. So I just, at the time, I just couldn't wait to get back into exercising. I just came back slowly. Before I knew it, I was back into doing the things I, I was used to doing. Ready? Come on. Up. Push, push, push. Me. There you go. There you go. He's turning 80 years old and he still does this, and I think that's amazing. Uh, do you think you can keep up with him doing his work again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I could never. <laughs> I think I'm more ripped than they are. Remember, you should need okay? Okay. Up. 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 There you go. I wanted to do a workout for my birthday. The Jacinto Storm has become a workout that we do once a year. What makes me a little proud of the Jacinto Storm is because a few gyms, they do it as a tradition. The first Jacinto Storm was 69. And we started first running around the block, then 69 squats, 69 push-ups, 69 pull-ups, 69 kettlebell swings, 69 wall balls, 69 deadlift. Oh man. The Jacinto Storm last year took me oh, 47 minutes. You have to finish it. <sighs> 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 No matter what, you struggle, you do it. <laughs> the first year of the Jacinto Storm, I remember it was about 20 to 30 people in, in the gym that came to do it. Now, a lot of gyms do it. I'm glad that I inspired people that way. I did it last year, and uh, it was very challenging, but amazing at the same time. I mean, you're doing a work on honor for someone who's an inspiration to so many in the CrossFit community. It's a pleasure to do it alongside with them. It goes up one every year. So this year, in July, when I'm 80 years old, all the exercises is 80 times. What I have a month and five days before the storm. I, uh, I started training already. I'm ready. I'm gonna knock it out. Hi guys, I'm on my way to do the Jacinto storm. Oh, I can't wait to get there and get this done. Today it's very challenging and I, uh, I'm ready for it. I see what happens. Okay, hey Anthony, how are you? Thank uh -huh.
That's tough. It's not easy. Take care. If you're young and you keep doing it, when you're 80, you can do it too. The fact that like this whole thing was like made from him, it's crazy because it's like, wow. And to know that your grandfather is like the most like made, oldest man to be doing like this hard work, it's great. No way is gonna come the day that, and I won't do it. I will do it. <laughs>